Bloodline. 1-800-LOVE-191 is the number. Amberly. Hello, boys. How are you doing this evening? So far, so good. What's up? Good. So I have a situation for you. Okay. So when it comes to... Okay, I'll put myself into uh, the rules. So I've seen this guy for the past, like, six months, and we were f***ing, like, casually okay. all the okay. time. Oh, my goodness. Anderson, you, you, you're you okay? Okay. All right. What, what do we... What... I didn't. I didn't know how to even talk to somebody who seems so out of Indifferent it, different to cussing, and so out of it as to get on, on a national broadcast and just dump a whole bunch of well incredibly disturbing expletives. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. She, it's trashy and disgusting, and I hate her. But um, in her defense, she is not a countryman of ours, so maybe she just uh, is coming from it from a. Okay. I don't know what broadcaster like in Canada. Maybe you could say the f word, Amberly. True though. Okay, anyways. Just shut your there. mouth. Hey. Oh. No, I'm sorry. No, nothing. No, no. It was just okay. No. Okay, can I go back to my story, please? No. no. Why not? <laughs> because you said the f word on my radio show. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. Really, won't even answer it. No, no. We're looking no, for, we're looking for okay. an apology. All an you had to do is say, "Hey, oh, I'm really sorry. sorry. I get." Uh, sorry from Canada. We apologize. All right. Now I get like, okay. but that's all I'm expecting. It's because it's not like you you did kind of just screw us over. That's all. Oh, sorry about that. All right, okay. go ahead. Back to like the books. Okay, so seeing this guy, we're we we're friends for a while. Kind of stuff weren't sour. We had to deal with uh, a mutual agreement when it comes to an abortion, and so we were still talking after that a little bit. But then he decides to. F- one of my guys. Oh, oh my god. god! I have to. What talk is to the her more. matter with her? I have to talk to her more. I have to talk to her more. <laughs> what is the ah! matter with this person? Oh, I have to move no more. Hey, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Oh, clearly, you're not sorry because you're laughing about something very serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for the broadcast. No, 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 no. Here's the deal. It's now translated above and beyond that. Like, uh, Anderson can hit the dump button. It, it, we get 10 seconds dead air. It sucks for the rest of the listeners. But now it's transferred over to you clearly are a trashy person. Like, well, not the trans, but an out of it person. We made, we made really? such. No, yes. We made such a big deal out of it. And then less than a minute later, you just, without even, you just cavalier go back into F bombs. You're drinking a little Crown Royale? I'm Amberly, are you drinking oh. alcohol at the moment? Are you wasted? I'm, I hope. I'm in the vino, but I'm just kind of wondering. I'm partying like life, right? Yes. So, um, here is it. If you guys, if you guys want to help me out on this, yes. Not. She's not sorry at all. She no, hasn't said sorry once. Hey, you really have. There's a. She said sorry. Here's what I know. No, so are you far. drunk, Amberly? Not really. I just am pondering life. And have I'm you been sure. drinking? Yes, I have. Been. Okay. All right. You you got much bigger problems than, than you seem to yeah, be aware I of. Do, actually. You know what? After this story, you'll know why I've been drinking, right? No, no. So, I, let me tell you, because you seem to have like a personality disorder. There's something very big going on with you. A personality? Really? So there's like a psychologist side to you, hey? That's good. <laughs> what are you talking about? We have to talk more. We have to talk more. What, what, is your, what are you even alluding to? <laughs> too funny. Anyway, no, no, so, there's uh, nothing funny about any of the interaction we've had with you. <laughs> really? So, wh- where are you guys from again? <laughs> I, uh, we're both from uh, Pasadena, California, a suburb of Los Angeles. Doctor Drew oh, and I both. California, that's right. So, have you ever visited uh, Calgary, Alberta? Is this no. like, is like, or is this like the naked poet kind of person? She's like a young naked poet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, we have not. I've been to Canada many times. I've never been to Calgary. Really? It's a good city. You guys should come and visit here. Okay. Uh, what's the biggest thing troubling you, Amberly? Honestly, is it the fact that, like, if you go to sleep at night, do you ever get uh, goosebumps and feel terrible inside about having an abortion? Um, no, pretty much. That was the best choice of my life. But just the fact of knowing when a guy is, like, there for their friendship, when they stay there for their friendship, but deep down inside, they're more because they've expressed it to you the past, like, six months and everything. Right, not, like you men, can't, don't okay. to, men don't know how to make up their mind when it comes to oh yeah, I'm a friend or no, maybe there's something more. I just don't understand that. They're okay. just scared to go beyond friendship. All right, uh, here's the deal. 
clean up your life. Stop drinking so much. Don't and don't be completely. <laughs> no, you're unintelligible. Yeah, there, you make there, no sense. There, there's nothing. Fu- you've been laughing inappropriately since we picked up the phone. There's nothing <laughs> funny about any of this. You're talking about your life being in trouble, and you're talking about the inability to navigate relationships. These are serious issues. You've uh, sort of uh, insulted go us. On, You've go insul- on. Go on. Go on. I right, just hang up. I hope the Calgary yeah. Flames uh, just, tag team you explode hang, you with their big up, Vanny wieners. Yeah. Uh, we you got almost, a C word. You almost cussed me. <laughs> What's me or Mike? You almost said the C I, word. I almost said the C word. 